Ow, my freaking ear balls! Are you tired of being the guy driving through town like this? This is how we're going to fix it today. Personally, I don't like these serpentine belts. You throw your belt or have a belt problem of any kind and you are stranded. You got no water pump, you got no power steering, you got no alternator. You're done. You're waiting for a tow truck unless you got a spare belt and pulleys and whatever else has gone wrong. In the old days, you had your V-belt. You threw one off. You didn't have an alternator. You could still drive because your water pump turned. If you throw off the other one, your alternator's working. It still drives, in most cases, the water pump. So you can still go. I think they're a pain in the ass and I hate the design, but what are you going to do? That's all they put on these things nowadays. Okay, so here's our culprit right here. This is your belt tensioner. Inside of it is a spring and the pulley part pushes your belt, in this case, this way. You can see right here. All right, belt's off. Just use a pry bar or if your tensioner has the uh, bolt on it there, you can use that. Uh, you don't need to take it all the way off, but definitely remember the way it's routed. It'll save you a lot of grief later on. Take a picture. Power steering comes off next. This bolt here, one underneath, 12 millimeters on this version. Power steering's off and out of the way. I got lucky I didn't have to disconnect the hoses. I was able to just move it out of the way. Uh, tensioner. On this model, I got one, two, and a third nasty bolt way the hell down in here, which I haven't quite figured out how I'm getting yet. All right, belt tensioner's off. Uh, there's no real play in this one, but when you spin it, You can hear that is definitely the source of the squeak uh, there's our new one they're identical so i'm just gonna spray up the those threads a little bit they're a little bit uh, oxidized and we'll get this sucker put back together all right tensioners on three bolts are tight again that one is a complete pain in the ass to get out because motor mounts in your way but with a little tenacity and the right tools, you can get it. All right, power steering's back on, two bolts, everything's hooked up and ready to go, all bolts are tight. Time to put your belt back on. Here's a handy little trick, so you don't have to buy any special tools, because Lord knows we just love special tools. Okay, unless you're a bear, at 14 mil on there, you're never gonna pull it. Okay, you can't get a socket and a bar on it because of where it is with the power steering reservoir and the motor mounts and everything else. You could put a pipe on the end, but it's often difficult because of the size of the wrench. Use another box end on the end of your open end, like so. Force multiplier, one hand. And there you go. No special tools, two wrench. All right, so there you have it. No more loudest guy in town. Quick fix, tensioner cost 26 bucks from Rock Auto. And I'll five or six bolts later, and I'm done. Everything works, right? That tensioner, nine times out of 10 is your problem, but not always. So check your idler pulleys and stuff, like I said. And you see there, take your belt off and just spin things and you'll hear it. You'll hear which one is making that god awful noise. Alright, so good luck. Happy quiet motoring.